I'm not going to lie to you with how Ruin May has released and some of these characters being impacted. One of these characters for sure might end up being my brand new main and one of the best DPSs in the game just because of a certain mechanic they hold. One that a lot of people have been basically being super negative about since his release. And guess who that is? This guy back here, our general genuine is finally an amazing and super broken unit due to Ruan Mei. And if you don't know what Ruan Mei does, 1000%, all I got to tell you is weakness break efficiency. And you know who loves weakness break efficiency? People that have a lot of weakness break in their hits. You know who else has a lot of weakness break on their hits? Genuine and his Lightning Lord. With Genuine's Lightning Lord, it is by far one of the strongest and one of the more crazier numbers when it comes to how much shield is going to be taken off. And especially if you get that 10 stacks with Genuine, you're going to see some enemies shields deplete immediately and instantly and being able to stun them, being able to get that weakness break off of them so easily, then triggering Ruin May's ultimate. That's where we're going to be seeing some crazy stuff. Now, I do want to note a couple of things before we get into this MOC run because I've just been having a lot of fun with these MOC showcases. I really do want to see what y'all want me to try out in terms of characters to try on MOC 11 and 12 or what type of team comps, what y'all want to see. I would definitely love to see that in the comments below. So let me know who you want to see down in the comments below. And also, if it's possible, I know we're at super close to the end of the year, but if it's possible to hit 20K before the end of the year happens, that'd be absolutely crazy. Um, I would appreciate a like on the video as well. But I do want to talk about my genuine very quickly, just because I feel like this is actually a very important step to talk about in regards to how my genuine looks right now compared to what we're about to go into. Right now, my genuine is at level 70, and as you may know, the enemies that we are going to be fighting are level 92. I am not taking him into MLC 12 just because we don't have the weakness there, so it's kind of going to be unfair for us to try a character out without their weakness on the field. So this is all lightning on the field, so this is going to be very fair for him, but we are around 20 levels under this character or 18 levels under this character and that is a lot actually no it is 20 uh, plus levels away from this character so that is a lot of uh, levels that we are missing when it comes to genuine versus japart in them and then not only that we also don't have any speed okay that's another thing to notice we also i do have a nice crit rate ratio but the problem is my traces aren't leveled up i have the skill if this is not wrong oh no this is the ultimate the ultimate is not even at level eight the skill or the talent the skill is at six and then the talent is at eight. This could definitely be a much stronger genuine because I am missing some attack nodes. I'm missing two of them actually. I'm missing another crit rate node. I'm missing another crit rate trace. That's a major one that gives you 10% for two turns, which is pretty huge. And I'm also missing another crit rate trace. The reason why I want to tell you this right now, I also have no Eidolons. We are rocking the follow-up set with Inner Sol Soto. The reason I want to bring this up is because I feel like my genuine is super underinvested. The attack is low. The speed is really low. I have really nice crit ratios. I am rocking his before dawn. So that is the only plus to it. And other than that, this is a very underinvested genuine. I know there is a lot more in terms of the genuine mains and how absolutely optimized they are to a T. And adding someone like Ruin May is by far going to make the craziest of differences if you aren't looking towards getting her or if you haven't even decided if you are going to get her. And this video, I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now, you might want to pick her up after this. It's just that Genuine gets so much value out of having these characters on the team, well, especially Ruin Mei. I do think you could switch out other characters like maybe Ting Yun for Asta or something like that just so that you're able to get more speed get more attack there's a lot of different avenues you can go through when it comes to helping out genuine i'm not the best genuine person or main or anything like that but i do know a really strong character when i see it and especially seeing what he is providing to the team yeah you can easily see that this is going to be an absolutely busted character with what we're getting right now and this is only just the start ruin may is definitely just the start for what we're about to see a lot of these support units do for us and we're about to see some crazy numbers right now we're gonna see this amount of shield being breaking off we already have the field up for ruin may and after this skill we're gonna ult and then after that lightning lord is gonna come up so let's go ahead and use the ultimate we're chunking down a good amount of their shield already just from the ultimate alone and then we're going to launch the skill up. We have a fat ton of skill points. And boom. Look at that. Double break immediately. And they were both well above that. Wow. I am going to... No, actually, I think I can normal and I will get my uh, ultimate back. Okay, good. I just want to give everyone's ultimate really quickly. 
but as you can see we're already in that territory of wow that is a lot of damage we are getting a lot from this i know i have enough stacks but i do want to give jing yuan his ultimate constantly just so i'm able to get the 10 stacks non-stop so maybe we can shred off a turn or two and i am gonna just spam skill points this team is very skill point positive um just due to you know the speed they have and all that type of stuff and watch this now that we are going to do the ultimate more damage in and we're gonna delay delay and that's the very strong part about this team you are getting these very easy shield breaks and look at that they're all ooh, that blessing is disgusting um you are getting these super quick shield breaks off of them and with that being said and how ruin may works with her ultimate delaying them once they recover being able to spam this type of combo is definitely going to make it very easy for you to be able to keep them stunned and also do as much damage as you can without taking as much damage now another thing to know is as i said before i have a very underinvested jing yuin if i had more attack percentage if i had more of the what is it called have the more of attack percentage if i have one of the more crit rate trace nodes and all that type of stuff i would have been able to possibly keep my lightning lord for the next cycle and of course if that was to be done i would have gotten more damage on the next half and we probably would have finished this a lot earlier but honestly i think we're going to finish this a lot earlier than expected and for a character that is under leveled like crazy the way he is that is a big plus like this is not something to look over 1000 percent um, I kind of want to hurry up and give Jing Yuan his ultimate. Pop Ruin May ult. Don't tell me. Okay, I was about to say, do not tell me I didn't get the, the Lightning Lord off. <laughs> that would have sucked so bad. But he see, a Lightning Lord's already above us. We're gonna we're about to make everyone lose their shield. Look at that. So much shield gone. And oh, okay, this might mess us up. That might mess us up. The barrier. Ooh. Dang, if only he didn't pop that, you know? <laughs> I would have been able to shred the shield immensely. Like, it would have been all gone immediately. But we're still going to go ahead and chunk it down. This is just from the skill alone. That's crazy. We're going to keep going on and on. We're going to get to our next Lightning Lord. And we're doing pretty well in terms of cycles. Like, we're doing very well with the skill point management. We have the um damage to back up how long it's gonna take lightning lord to come back again i do think asta might have been a better option to be able to run in this team just for the mere factor that she is going to allow genuine to do a lot more in terms of all of the okay i'm trying to make sure i get this right <laughs> i'm trying to make sure i do this all correctly we're gonna do boom i would assume it's the ruin may ult then the skill, then Ting Yun. But I'm very scared. So I'm just going to play the very safe option and give Jing Yuan his ult right now. And then pop this. And everyone's going to take a crazy amount of damage. Boom. 188k. They're both stunned. They're both about to get their delay. We have the skill coming up. Lightning Lord has 10 stacks. We're, we're in one of the best positions right now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Oh, 224k! Oh my god! Jing Yuin has three cycled MLC 11, and we are super under leveled, super under invested. You still have seven cycles to work around this. You have seven cycles to do your second half. Seeing that Jing Yuin went from a character that a lot of people had a negative stigma about, he is the blunt of a lot of jokes when it comes to the meta in Honkai Star Rail. And I think it's slightly reasonably so just because there are issues with this kit but as time has gone on especially with the additions of Fu Shuin and also having characters that give more additions to his kit just like something like Ruin Mei giving this weakness break efficiency that's a crazy thing to have for a character that has some of the highest break or not the highest break but the highest amount to break a shield and giving it to somebody and boosting it that's a crazy amount of stuff and it, especially with all the talents that they give or the buffs that you give from ruin made to him you get break effect which is a little bit nice it adds a little bit of more damage to the shock you also give an innate speed increase as well more damage increase and overall the speed the damage increase the weakness break efficiency the penetration from the ultimate the delay making it so that you can keep on hitting without worrying about getting cc there's a lot of stuff inadvertently when you have ruin may on the team that stop a lot of genuine's problems and that makes Jing Yuan such a strong DPS unit. 
You don't have to worry about them CCing you if they're broken because they can't move. You don't have to worry about them waking up because Ruin May is going to delay them. And you don't have to worry about them when they do get up. You'll have a 10 stack Lightning Lord ready for them to throw them right back down. There's a lot of crap that goes around with this. I said before, my team Yoon, also level 70, maybe would have been better if I did have a really kitted out Asta, like a lot of Jin Yuin mains have it. And Fu Xuan could probably be replacing of Ho Ho if you do have that faster Jin Yuin with Asta, being able to get 10 stacks without having to rely on the ultimate as much. There's a lot of different factors that I do not have with this Jin Yuin, who is super under leveled, super under invested, and took out as a level 70 character with not even all of their traces unlocked, a level 92 character. That is a crazy amount of things to look at and a crazy amount of things to consider that my Jin Yuin wasn't anywhere near finished, anywhere near perfect, anywhere near invested in that so many other players have put in so much effort, so much hard work trying to make them perfect. And I think with Ruin May, you might have one of the strongest DPSs in the game for sure. He does have his faults, but my lord, does he have the damage to back it up? So other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know if you are going to be trying out Jin Yuin again. Let me know if the general is worth of your attention now that he's been waiting in your account, being all dusted up because he hasn't been picked up. Maybe it's the time to start building him. Maybe it's the time you start using him, especially when it comes to these lightning weakness stages. It's just, wow, he's a really great unit. I'm happy that a lot of these older units are getting their time to shine. I will be doing more of these showcases because, man, looking back at these older units with Ruin May has been a blast. And thank you so much for the support on all the other videos. It means a lot to me. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one, and peace.